Pine cone stew? Hard pass, real grub. Double cheeseburger, fries, boom. Sweet Sasquatch, Mythbuster bite. Did you know some of the most viral high converting ads right now are being made with just a text prompt? Top creators are using VEO3, Google's cinematic AI to generate jaw-dropping video ads without a camera crew or studio. The visuals are on par with big budget productions, packed with cinematic lighting, dynamic camera movements and storytelling you'd expect from a Hollywood trailer. But that's not all. I'm going hands-on with a powerful technique that seems to be powering these clips, the Jason prompt method, and I'll show you the exact results I got, what worked, what didn't, and some tips I learned that you won't want to miss. Let's dive into the future of AI ads right now. Hi, I'm Mirinia, and today I'll be your guide through this wild ride of testing JSON prompts on VEO3. But before we jump into the fire, let's tackle the question some of you might be whispering right now. Uh, what the heck is JSON? Great question. JSON, short for JavaScript Object Notation, is like a recipe card for AI. Clean, organized, and packed with ingredients that tell the system exactly what you want. Instead of tossing in a vague prompt and praying to the algorithm gods, JSON lets you structure every detail. Scene layout, character traits, camera movement, call to action. And in tools like VO3, this level of control means you're not just making a video, you're crafting a high-conversion, scroll-stopping cinematic ad that knows exactly what it's doing. So, how do we actually use JSON to make killer ads in VEO3? Simple. I ran a little experiment. Shout out to Mentor over on X. He shared some JSON prompts that blew up, including one for an Uber Eats ad that was buttery smooth. So I said, challenge accepted. I took his structure, but rewrote the whole thing. New character, new setting, new dialogue new tasty call to action. But I needed help. And who better to call than the fluffy legend himself? Good old Bigfoot. White fur, big heart, and surprisingly good with call to actions. I summoned ChatGPT03 to draft a fully structured JSON prompt, down to character expressions, mood, camera pacing, everything. And let me tell you, VEO understood the assignment. The result? Chef's kiss. Pinecone stew? Hard pass, real grub. Double cheeseburger, fries, boom. Sweet Sasquatch, Mythbuster bite. It looked like I hired a whole studio, but all I used was text. Stick around, because I'm about to show you exactly what I did, the prompt structure, and the real results. So you can replicate or remix it for your own viral ad. So here's how it all started. I went to ChatGPT and asked, pretend you're a director with a wild sense of humor and a deep love for cute cryptids. You've got one job. Make a three scene, seven seconds per scene ad with a strong call to action for joining the Creator Secrets community. Your star, a white fur Bigfoot. It needs to be funny, go. Naturally, ChatGPT delivered. It came back with three scene ideas, visual descriptions, even dialogue, the whole shebang. Then I leveled it up. I switched over to ChatGPT03 and asked it to turn those ideas into a structured JSON prompt for VO3. So what was scene one's visual written by ChatGPT? Absolute gold. Bigfoot slouched in a dim moonlit forest, doom scrolling on a bark and leaf laptop. He's watching his crumpled, failed ideas. Bigfoot does yoga, Sasquatch sandwich review, and yes, even Mothman's makeup tutorial. A squirrel watches silently from a log and just shakes its head like Bigfoot's creative career is over. Bigfoot's dialogue was, ugh, two views again. Do I smell? Wait, don't answer that. So I tested that prompt in VO3 and, test one. Two views again? <sighs> Do I smell? Wait, don't answer that. Oops. Turns out I copied the full prompt without checking the character limit. So VO3 kinda ignored half of it. This only happened to me when I run it on Korea. The lip sync, off. The animation, weird. My thoughts, okay. Maybe Bigfoot's just having an off day. Test two. I fixed the length. Told chat GPT-03, Trim it to 1,700 characters, make it tight, clean, and focused. 
Result? Much better. Who views again? <clears throat> Do I smell? Wait, don't answer that. <sighs> but now there were random words popping up on screen that made zero sense. Like, sir what? A tip here. When using AI to generate ad scenes, disable or avoid on-screen text. Why? Because ChatGPT loves to sneak in cringy subtitles like it's trying to win a TikTok meme war. Instead, add your own words manually after generation, so they're on-brand, typo-free, and actually make sense. So after cleaning that up, I ran it again, and finally, I got something usable, hilarious, and high-converting. Bigfoot was back, baby. Two views again. <laughs> Do I smell? Wait, don't answer that. <laughs> now let's move on to scene two, where things start to get spicy. All right, buckle up, because this is where Bigfoot goes full influencer. So originally, I asked ChatGPT, OK, what happens after Bigfoot hits rock bottom with his yoga fail content? Give me the transformation moment, the epic CTA scene. Here's what it gave me, and I quote. Visual. Bigfoot's eyes widen as he taps a glowing Join Creator Secrets button on a floating crystal tablet. Boom, he's blasted by golden light. His fur styles itself like he's heading to a Met Gala in the woods. The tablet shapeshifts into a sleek AI dashboard. And then, because why not, a phoenix in sunglasses swoops in and drops a scroll titled Top Prompts and Monetization Hacks. Dialogue. Bigfoot, amazed. What? 40% commission? And all I did was click this? I mean, this scene had everything. Magic tablet. Golden transformation. Sunglasses bird with a monetization scroll, peak internet. But here's where things got tricky. To keep the story visually consistent, I needed to start scene two with the last frame of scene one. You know, sad Bigfoot and judgmental squirrel. Now, VO3 within Korea doesn't yet support image to video continuation natively, but Korea does offer text to image generation, and guess what? They also have a supercharged image enhancer. So I took a screenshot of the final frame of scene one, threw it into Korea Enhancer and boom, clean, crisp Bigfoot. Fur so detailed you could count every tragic little flop curl. Then I signed up for Gemini Pro. Yep, they're integrated with VO3. An important tip, you currently get 1,000 free credits, which equals about 50 clips using VO3 fast. That's basically a free ad campaign. From there, I headed into the Flow platform started a new project, switched to image to video, uploaded the enhanced Bigfoot, and pasted the JSON prompt for scene two. Bonus tip, Flow doesn't seem to have the same character limit as direct VO fast generation. So if you've got a juicy, detailed JSON prompt, this is your playground. Reality check, I had to try it, a few times. Bigfoot literally said the word, what, letter by letter in some take so I learned it's important to write them in an understandable way. W-H-A bubble A. 40% commission? And all I did was click this. W-H-A-A-A. 40% commission? And all I did was click this. What? 40% commission? And all I did was click this. The text overlay was gibberish in another. But eventually, I got something decent. Not perfect, but good enough to call it a win. Bigfoot glowed up, the phoenix displayed the scroll with the message, and the 40% commission line hit. What? 40% commission? And all I did was click this. Next up, scene three. The beach, the parrot, the flex. Let's go. All right. We've seen Bigfoot go from creative meltdown to radiant awakening. Now, it's time for his final form. Here's what ChatGPT gave me for the grand finale. Visual. Bigfoot, now fully in influencer mode, lounges on a tropical beach, sipping from a coconut like he's retired at 35. Surrounding him are glowing screens showing his viral success. Millions of views, comment hearts flying, algorithm blessings raining down. A parrot, casually perched nearby, 
drops the line. I joined too, then winks at the camera like he's in on the hustle. Dialogue, Bigfoot, smug. Join Creator Secrets or I'll steal your snacks and your followers. I mean, tell me that's not an iconic call to action. So I took that glorious prompt and ran it through VEO3 fast. Not once, not twice, but four times. I joined too! Join Creator Secrets or I'll steal your snacks and your followers. I joined too! Join Creator Secrets or I'll steal your snacks and your followers. Join Creator Secrets or I'll steal your snacks and your followers. I joined too! Join Creator Secrets or I'll steal your snacks and your followers. I joined too! Why four? Because the AI, in all its cinematic glory, decided to get a little creative. But hey, that's part of the game. AI filmmaking is like making popcorn. You burn a few, but the ones that pop? Chef's kiss. After tweaking the visuals, cleaning up the text prompts and rerunning the magic, I finally got something usable, funny and clean. Bigfoot was chilling. The parrot nailed his line. The coconut stayed in his hand. Victory. And now, here it is, the final result. All three scenes, back to back, starring good old Bigfoot, the fluffy legend, the scroll-stopping star, the snack-thieving icon. Let's roll the full clip. Two views again. Do I smell? Wait, don't answer that. What? 40% commission. And all I did was click this. Join Creator Secrets, or I'll steal your snacks and your followers. I joined too! By the way, if you're serious about turning these kinds of videos into actual income, everything you need is inside the Creator Secrets community on school. Inside, you'll get the exact prompts top content creators use and more, the tools and workflows to replicate this easily and almost any kind of video content, and most importantly, a step-by-step -step monetization strategy to turn your videos into real revenue. Whether you're just getting started or ready to scale, this is where it all comes together. The link is in the description. Go check it out and I'll see you inside. Let's make magic and money. So what can you actually do with videos like this? A lot more than just impress your friends or confuse your mum. These kinds of short, scroll-stopping ads are perfect for promoting affiliate links, selling digital products, or even growing your email list or online course without showing your face or filming anything. Just plug in your offer, craft a strong call to action, bonus points if it involves a compelling character, and run it on platforms like YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. Pair it with a smart monetization funnel, and boom, you're not just making videos, you're building a digital money machine with nothing but text prompts and a little creativity. If you thought this video was packed with value, just wait until you get inside the Creator Secrets community. That's where everything is broken down in detail. How to craft prompts that actually convert, how to build viral scenes that trigger clicks, and how to turn every video into a stream of income you'll get access to a private prompt vault, insider tools, templates, and the exact monetization strategies successful content creators are using right now. If you're serious about making money with AI-generated videos, this is where the real game begins. Don't just watch, build. Links in the description. See you on the inside.